college basketball on the on the slate next. John Calipari gets announced as well, he gets introduced as as Arkansas's next head coach. Bill, you were at that presser first. I want to hear what was the atmosphere like and next, what impact do you feel this will have on the Arkansas basketball program? Well, this extent the, the atmosphere was electric. Uh there were seven thousand people there. There would have been many more, but the weather was horrific that night. Uh the rain and the, it was just a mess. Uh the impact extends way beyond, to me, uh, way beyond Arkansas basketball, because when you bring in a guy like John Calipari, you're making a statement to, to the Arkansas football program, too, that no more mediocrity. We're done with that. And so this is, it. it to me, it quadruples the pressure on Sam Pittman to get a, to have a nice football season. Um, Arkansas, it, it's really interesting. Arkansas has uh, the athletic director that night, Juwan identified by name two donors who were instrumental in ha in helping get Calipari to Fayetteville, right? And those two donors have a combined net income of six billion dollars. And then the Walton family of the Walmart chain, uh, they have a collective uh, work wealth that amounts to two hundred million dollars. And they are known for giving generously to the University of Arkansas. It just feels like to me that Arkansas is this close to just making a statement to all the whole of the SEC, to OU, to Texas, to A&M, that we are sick of mediocrity in football and we are sick of uh, this inconsistency in basketball. And we bring it in John Calipari as a signal that we're about to go to a different place and our expectations are getting adjusted in a big way. And you know what, in the NIL era, Juwan, they have tremendously wealthy people who are ready to help help them succeed in the NIL era of college athletics. You know, this is a great investment for Arkansas. Just simply, you just look at the track record. Everywhere this man has coached college basketball, he's had success going back to the UMass days. And then he goes to Memphis and does what he does there, makes them a perennial number one team. He did the same at Kentucky. Uh, and, and Arkansas can just look at his track record and know this man knows college basketball. And by the way, he was the New Jersey Nets coach for a while, too. So this this guy is a Hall of Famer. It's a big time get for Arkansas. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what he can do with that program. He's going to have to start from scratch. Uh, that roster is depleted. But uh, tell me, players that tell me about a player that doesn't want to play for John Calipari and just given the track record he has. And then you think about it too, he's in the SEC still. So he knows this conference, he knows this league. There's not much changing for him in terms of that. So I think this is a huge get for Arkansas. If you're an Arkansas fan, you have every right to be excited. I, I'm looking forward to those Oklahoma, Arkansas basketball games uh, with Cal coming to Norman or uh, or OU going to, to Fayetteville and, and watching these games. That's gonna be exciting. I, I'm just kind of sad that uh, the uh, OU Arkansas series at the BOK Center is over now because I would have loved to see Calipari coach against OU in the BOK in December. The press conference announcing Calipari's hiring was held a day after the 39th anniversary of when Arkansas hired Nolan Richardson away from the University of Tulsa. And I predict that this hiring of Calipari has the potential to take Arkansas basketball to the next level, just as was the case when Arkansas hired Nolan Richardson away, taking a really good program that Eddie Sutton had built back in the late 70s and early 80s and just making it even better. So I think uh, that's the type of potential this hiring has. Bill, you said a move like this sends a message to the to the Arkansas football program, no more mediocrity. But when you talk about what Calipari is expected to do in year one at Arkansas, what are those expectations? Oh, my Lord. Uh, I mean, I would, because of the portal, uh, because of his track record of putting guys in the league, uh, I mean, Eric said it, I mean, elite blue chip guys are going to want to go to Arkansas to play for Calipari right now. So, I mean, uh, I mean, time will tell. We'll see what the, the composition of the roster looks like. Uh, but it wouldn't shock me if they're an elite eight team in his first year, because you can do that now, right? You can completely retool a program overnight, especially basketball, uh, because of the portal. And 
uh, like I, I alluded to the wealth and the money flowing through that athletic department now, um, you know, NIL won't be an issue. They will spend their NIL war chest will be as healthy as any in college athletics for basketball. Time will tell to see if those same people are as generous regarding football, but it won't surprise me if a year from now we're talking about Arkansas having made a comparably splashy hire in football. Because I think, like I said, I think this is a big, big, big year for Sam Pittman. Uh, Arkansas is, you know, they've not won a conference title in 35 years. They've not won a national title in 60 years. I just think their people are like, why not us? Why not us? And they're willing to spin to make that happen. Lincoln Riley to Arkansas. You heard it here. You heard it here first. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just joking. <laughs> I would love. Hey, I would love. Why that. are you kidding? Why are you kidding? Why are you kidding? It's it's yeah. You just I just don't want people to think. Oh, that's going to no no. I'm just joking. But you never know. It could happen. I mean, it's not really beyond the of possibility. But yeah, if Arkansas is going to go out there for football, make that statement. If Sam Pittman can get the job, cannot get the job done this year. Look for a big splashy hire. I agree with the bill. They're they're tired of mediocrity over there. They want to win, and the Calipari move in this athletic department just proves that. Yep. Bear, are you kind of the same mindset as as Bill and Eric? Oh, uh, absolutely. Uh, Arkansas better not get off to a slow start, or you could see a coaching change at midseason. So I think there is an urgency to win in the football program.